Hey guys, this is B2003 here, and in this video I'm going to be reviewing two pretty rare things, although the CD-ROM is definitely rarer, but I'm going to be reviewing the Baby Einstein 2002 sampler VHS and CD-ROM. And yeah, these are both rare, uh, and I think I'm the only person to have both of them. Actually, no, that's not true. DJ does actually have both of them as well, but uh, not completely, just because... He does have a sampler VHS, but it's in a Baby Mozart 2003 VHS cover. So he doesn't actually have a, you know, the actual cover. But I guess he has both too, although I I guess I, like, you know, I, I just have it a bit better, I guess. Uh, but uh, even though I've had a CD-ROM for way longer, I'm going to review the tape first since it just kind of makes more sense. And these are both very interesting, so, yeah. So, here is the VHS. Um, basically, I had the CD-ROM for years, which I'll explain in a minute. But for a long time, I didn't actually know it existed on VHS. Then in, like, 2015, I saw Baby Eyes and 257 or Cole, whatever you want to call him. Um, he didn't do it like a review on this tape, but basically I just saw it. Like, he, had, he's, he was doing a video... It was a, like a theory about Baby Beethoven or something, or like, no, it was, it was his review on his custom Baby Beethoven 2002 VHS, I remember now. But basically, at the beginning of the video, he had all the first editions lined up. So like he had, you know, he had like Mozart 1998, Shakespeare 1999, Neighbor Animals, Bluebird, and all that stuff. And then, um, right after Newton, but before Beethoven, he had this sampler of VHS, and I was like, wait, what? That exists? And I thought for a long time, this is literally the coolest thing ever. And I wanted it really badly. And actually, the only person that had it for a very long time, well, besides Cole, uh, Cohen had it too, actually. But then, DJ got it in Baby Mozart 2003 VHS cover, and then later in 2017, uh, I think either like George or DJ, somebody sent it to Google+, you know, an eBay link, and I bought it. I don't remember how much it was, but if it was really expensive, I wouldn't have bought it, so whatever. And uh, it's really cool because this is actually sealed, and I'm um, keeping it sealed since nobody else in the entire community has a sealed sampler. And also, it's not like it's not there's like anything too amazing on the tape that I'm missing out on or anything. Although there is like a booklet in here because you know it has like the two dollars off thing inside. But whatever, I've seen it before because Cohen has it, so it's fine. I don't really care. It's just cool to have sealed. Uh, yeah, I got this in October 2017. And then, I think the only other person that has it is... Well, actually, no, no, not the only other person, but... The next person to get it, I think, was Mike. I think he got it for Christmas in 2017. He told me that last night. And then, um... The only other two people I can think of that have it are Jagger and George, which... Jagger got it, I think, like, a few months ago. I don't really remember. I didn't even know he had it until last night. I just forgot. And George literally just got it a few days ago, and it's coming in the mail. So, yeah... Anyways, let me show the sides and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so, front, um, back. I will probably read this, but later in the video. Uh, side. Side just looks really cool. Other side also looks really cool, although it looks, like, kind of plain. But the weirdest thing is that it just doesn't even have, like, any logos or even, like, a VHS logo, which is kind of weird, although it is a sampler. I don't, I, I think this might have been like a free sampler, but I have no clue. Anyway, here's the top. Um, to be completely honest, I do not actually know if there's an inside or not. I don't think there is, though. If there is, then oh well. Although that actually wouldn't make sense. There's probably not. And then, I can't show the tape, but I do know it has a blue sticker label. Well, like, it's a sticker label. Like, obviously, sticker label's white, but like, the, like all the text is blue. Is they all look the same. I mean, if you want to look at it, uh, I think Cohen reviewed it. If not, I don't know. Jagger did his VHS collection. It's probably near the end of that. I, I don't know. You can find it somewhere. Because mine's sealed. But yeah. Yeah. Now we'll look at the CD-ROM. I have had this since Christmas 2009. Actually, um, I got it in my Language Nursery 2002 DVD. Which, yeah, I got it for Christmas in 2009. I'm pretty sure that DVD was actually that was actually like brand new, because it had this and also had the parents' guide in really good condition. It actually, still is. I've taken care of that DVD mostly just because I haven't watched it that much because it's language nursery. But yeah. Uh, 
and luckily this came in there too and like when I first had this I was like wait what and I thought it was really cool when I was younger but then after a while I lost it and I couldn't find it for years and years and years and then someday in like 2016 2017 I randomly found this in a drawer in my dad's house and I was like oh I'm so glad I found it again because this is pretty cool and basically uh, well, actually, I'll just show, I'll show the front and the back first. So, yeah, here's the front, the back, and, uh, wait. The back. There was also some weird thing in here that literally had, like, hold on. This is San Diego, California, for some reason. I don't know why. Um, oh, yeah, I have to show the disc. Duh. Um... Here's the disc. Like, basically, the, the colors on the disc are the same on the VHS sticker label. So, yeah. As you can see, the, all the samples, although we're actually going to be looking at the menu of this in a minute. Uh, but, yeah, this is pretty cool. Basically, so, yeah, um, I don't remember what I was going to say. But, you know, I'm glad that I found this after not having it for like five years that's pretty good i don't know what else to say well actually, i'll just compare the covers actually obviously these are very similar but they are not exactly the same because this is a tape and this is you know it's, it's just bigger like on here um the gecko and the duck are closer together and also like the gecko is more you know like to the left like he's at a different angle um also, obviously, this is video sampler. This is enclosed CD-ROM sampler, um, and they both say expose your newborn to the world of music, art, language, science, and nature with this gift from Baby Einstein. Though, and also the two dollars off details inside. And the Walt Disney Company. The back. Um, well, they obviously very, very, very different. But I'm just gonna read it off of this one because. This says like the same exact thing that's said here, but I'm just gonna read it off of this because it's a bit better. Because it also has like a welcome home thing at the top. The welcome home thing it looks like a fan made logo to be honest. Just because like it doesn't have any shadowing. It just looks you know, I d I don't know. Anyways, I'll read this. Congratulations on the new member of your family. This is a time of wonder and discovery for both you and your child. The Baby Einstein Company offers many opportunities for you and your newborn to explore this new world together. By using real-world objects, art, music, language, science, and nature, Baby Einstein exposes your newborn to the world in enriching ways. The Baby Einstein Company's award-winning collection of products were created by a mother and former teacher who wanted to create a simulating and engaging way to interact with her children. Especially created for infants and toddlers, for, for infants and toddlers age 0 to 3 years. That's a typo. It should say aged. I think it has the same typo on the CD-ROM. Because I remember that. Although... On the CD-ROM, it says 0 to 4 years instead of 3. That's kind of weird. But, anyways, uh, 0 to 3 years. Baby Einstein videos, DVDs, music CDs, books, and discovery cards will delight your baby. This, this video is an introduction to the world of Baby Einstein. Included are three video samples from some of our favorite titles, including Baby Mozart, New Rain, and Baby Van Gogh. Pretty good collection. Because these were three of the best videos of a time, except World Animals is better than all three of those. But, besides World Animals, those were the three best videos of a time, at least in my opinion. So choice um as a special offer we have included a two dollar discount coupon that can be used to purchase any baby on same product i wonder what would happen if you just gave that coupon to kids too today i'm not sure if that would work so well but anyways we hope that both you and your baby i mean and your child will take advantage of this offer to experience a fun baby on same collection together enjoy the show and then all the awards of a1 uh i know video of the year was Baby Mozart and Baby Einstein. I don't, or Language Nursery, whatever. I don't know if the other ones are for, to be honest. I don't remember all of them, but pretty cool. And like, it's kind of like on, like, World Animals or, uh, or like, I don't know, like, Neighbor Animals or, you know, like, or Baby Newton, and you can see, like, the tail on the spine and not a little bit on the back. That's kind of cool, too. Uh, but, anyways, uh, so, now we're going to look at the menu of the CD-ROM. And yes, I'm going to do editing. Wow. So, here we go. All right. 
So let me just quickly say that unfortunately I'm not going to be showing any of the video samples because of copyright stuff because I'm very paranoid about that. So we're not looking at baby Van Gogh neighbor animals or world animals. I mean, baby Van Gogh neighbor animals or baby Mozart, not world animals. World animals is not on here, but we're not going to look at those. Luckily though, if you do want to look at them, there is a Japanese uh, 2003 DVD sampler on archive.org which actually plays the exact same as the VHS, like the, the 2002 sampler VHS in America, and the video samples on VHS are the exact same as the ones here. So, yeah, you can just look at them yourself on archive.org. Um, Jackson Armor uploaded it, a Japanese 2003 DVD sampler, which should please Beast 3 so you can watch them if you want to. Um, basically, let me go through everything. So, this is kind of like the 2000 like the late 2002, 2003 website where, you know, it has like, which, um, you might know what I'm talking about because these were on the Italian and Australian websites, which were up for many, many years until like 2016 or 2017 or 2018. If you know what I'm talking about? Like it, the Nosh, like the Nostri Pradati, if you know what I'm talking about, that was the Italian Baby Einstein website. It was up for many years and it had this design, so you might know what I'm talking about because of that. But yeah, I'll go through everything, so... Baby Mozart, um, his eyes look very weird. Keep in mind, this is in late 2002 and has a koala, that's kind of weird, but yeah. Baby Mozart, neighbored animals, he looks weird too. And then Baby Van Gogh with the zebra, that's weird. Obviously, Baby Monet was not even thought of at this time, and they just had the zebra characters, so yeah. Okay, I'll stop doing that. Then we have audio samples, which I can actually share that. Also, the koala doesn't look weird this time, so that's good. Okay, so we can look at these. They're actually kind of interesting. Yeah, so it basically just has the music playing while it has, like, quotes probably from parents. But that was me. Literally, I used to carry my World Animals DVD in public. Actually, not, not all the time. Not usually in public. One time I carried it to Walmart, so. And I probably carried it, like, in my car at my grandparents' house. That's probably all. I just wanted to see that because, you know, it said that you can't leave the house without baby Einstein in hand. Anyways, here's baby Beethoven. These are based off of CDs, obviously. And these are not on the VHS, so that's why I'm showing them. And they're not going to be copyrighted because there's no video footage. Nobody hears I'm like talking over the songs, but we've all heard these tracks a, a thousand times, so it doesn't really matter. Anyways, here's Baby Vivaldi. I don't know why the duck looks a lot bigger than like the giraffe and the koala. It's also kind of weird that they used the koala on both the video and the uh, CD. Like, they could have used the bear on one of these. Anyways, here's Baby Vivaldi. That's kind of weird. I want to move his head. Uh, yeah. By the way, I did not show this as soon as it started, but, like, as soon as you start the CD-ROM, it plays, uh, it basically plays the same, like, thing that's at the beginning of VHS. Like, it has a short thing of, like, Julie Clark talking with the symphony number 4 Italian in the background. That's also on VHS. You can just look at that on archive.org. Again, like I said. I'll probably link that in, like, the description or a pinned comment, since it seems to be very helpful with this since it's the same thing and it's not even in Japanese by the way I'm pretty sure it is in English and even if it's in Japanese it's still the same thing whatever anyways special offer we're not gonna watch this I think it's at the end of a VHS because um actually well we'll look real quick not the whole thing 
Oh, it's not even working. Oh. The Baby Einstein company Actually, we can watch this for covers and video footage. And it's far away, so. We invite you to take advantage of our special offer so you and your child can enjoy Baby Einstein together. If you want to learn more, go to our website. Oh, that looks While weird. you're there, don't forget to see what moms are telling other moms Look about my old computer. That was on Congratulations the again from all of us at the Baby Einstein Company. And then it has this. Yeah, mine did not come with this, so actually I might have. I do remember there being a very weird thing in here when I got it, but it didn't have to do with that. Also. Oh, you can go to babyonsign.com. I'm not clicking that because we're going to be taking the kids to. And quit. Um, I'll do it after stopping video. Also, one more thing. As you can see. Hold on. I guess I have to do this. I used to love doing this on the Italian and Australian websites. And they were up and they looked like the late 2002 website design for many years. And I used to go on those because they had the old baby you notes know, or toy chest while the actual website had the 2004 one anyways one more thing it's also kind of weird to like the the gecko is just a, a tv screen now uh i think that's all i have to say oh actually one more thing um when i did when i got this there was like a weird piece of cardboard in it actually it might have just been on my language nursing 2002 dvd like in general i don't know if it was actually like it was i don't know if it was actually like inside of this but it was at least next to it it's like I said, I got this in my language in 2002 DVD, or Christmas in 2009. But anyways, there was a very weird piece of cardboard, which I still have, by the way, but I could not show it on camera for obvious reasons, which you'll see why. Also, it's at my dad's house anyways, and I'm at my mom's, so, you know. Uh, although I do know where it is, it's not lost, but I could, I can't show it, and even if I could, I wouldn't. Uh, so, basically it was a piece of cardboard that had the BB Einstein logo on it, and then... Um, next to the logo, it had, like, you know, the old, like, River Company used to be, you know, um, Teddy Lane, Lone Tree, Colorado. And then under it, it was very weird, because it had my dad's name, and then it had my address and my phone number. I have no idea why, because that's just very odd. I, I like, especially considering that I got this in 2009, and, um, that's just really weird. I don't know. Maybe my parents secretly had a CBD for many years and never gave it to me until I was six, but that would be weird. I mean, I did used to have Language Nursery 2003 DVD when I was a baby, but then my parents got rid of it because they hated it, and I did too when I was younger. I don't hate it anymore, but then, you know, then I got the DVD, then I got the 2002 DVD for Christmas 2009, and it had this in it, and that's why I have it, but I already said that earlier in the video, so anyways, okay, that's all I have to say. Um, let's go back to the other part of a review, the ending. Alright, so yeah, that was pretty cool. But, um, before the end of the video, just one more thing I want to say about the CD-ROM, which I forgot to say earlier, which is that this is significantly rarer than the VHS sampler. In fact, I think that the only people that own the CD-ROM, I could be wrong about this, because I don't pay attention to everybody's collections, but I'm pretty sure the only people that own this are... Me and DJ, as I already mentioned, and also GW has it as well. GW doesn't have a VHS though, but yeah. So I think only three people in the entire community own a CD ROM. There might be others that have it. I honestly do not remember or know for sure. If you do have it, then definitely let me know in the comments. Same for VHS. Because I'm pretty sure only three people have this, and six people have a VHS. Oh, I don't know. Or actually. Oh yeah, well Cole sold his a long time ago. I don't know who gave it to. I'm pretty sure Oh yeah, Leo or Ren VHS Archives, whatever, he had it as well and he also sold it recently, so yeah. But anyways, if you have it and I didn't mention you earlier, make sure to let me know in the comments and I uh, hope I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I wanted to do something a little bit different because I mean I don't, yeah, you know, a sampler, it's not just a normal video or a foreign thing. So I've done quite a few videos on foreign things recently, and I probably will continue to, because I'm expecting like four foreign, D actually, four foreign DVDs and one foreign VHS in the mail. Um, although, they have to go through customs and stuff, so I don't know how long it's going to be. But anyways, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is Baby Einstein 2003, or B 2003, whatever. Signing out.